What's up, Davers? It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and I'm back with another episode of Thief Gold. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nick, it's only been a month since your last episode of Thief. What's up with that? <laughs> this is an unprecedented situation, uh, and I agree. <laughs> uh, usually, it's a solid at least between these episodes um, and you guys are so so patient thank you again as always for that um, but I always say I always say that I will try to get another Thief episode out sooner rather than later and I rarely succeed but I thought you know this time I would make it happen <laughs> so here we are also big shout out to friend of the channel uh, watermelon Girl. Some of you may know her if you come out to my Twitch streams. Uh, she is playing through Thief right now, and uh, we've been chatting a bit about it, and that kind of put me in a thiefy mood, inspired me to come back and do another one of these sooner rather than later. Uh, if you guys don't know Watermelon Girl, she streams on Twitch. She does uh, ASMR and, and mental health streaming. You should totally go check her out. Uh, she's awesome. So I will link her Twitch channel down below the video if you want to go uh, follow her there. All right. Well, without further ado, uh, let's jump on back into the Lost City mission. So here we are, back down in the depths of the Lost City. You might recall that we are here to acquire a talisman, a fire talisman, I believe, one of four that will allow us to get into the haunted cathedral, which we need to do to recover the eye, but uh, we've got a few talismans to go. Uh, so the lost city is this labyrinthine, ancient, underground lost city. Uh, and it's got um, this really cool aesthetic going on. The map is almost Egyptian. I love it. Uh, in terms of what we're doing here, we found a way in. That was the first objective. We have to get 2,000 loot. We have to recover uh, keeper medallions from a lost expedition, which is one of the sort of extra objectives that's added on the expert difficulty. Of course, we're here for the fire talisman, and then we have to get out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? But uh, I think it's going to take us at least, well, probably another episode after this one. We'll see how far we get today. But I would be very surprised if we finished it up today. So, uh, there's all kinds of creatures problematic creatures in the lost city like uh, these oh yeah that thing uh, which just saw us so that's not great They're like fireball creatures basically um, oh I think it's coming after us we should probably go try and find a corner to hide in oh great there's another one we're just running willy nilly now Let's hide here while well, we look at our map and try to figure out. Okay, so we just crossed through this central area. We're now on the other side. We started up in this corner in a library area, and last time we mostly spent our, our time around here. So I guess we could check out this side of the Lost City today. It'll probably just be sort of wherever we happen to end up. But, uh, goodness me. Oh, I think it still sees us. Yeah, it sure does. It's hard to know because it's not like a person that makes noise. You know, the guards are dumb. They're like, Roy, where is he? There must have been rats. But, uh, these spooky fireballs. They don't really let on. Oh, shoot. Does it know we're here? Do they know we're here? Oh, 
Oh, they sure do. Well, that was unceremonious. <laughs> um, you know, I was just kind of uh, assuming we had to hide from them, but I maybe we can get them with water arrows. Uh, why don't we try? Let's see what the water arrows do. Okay, that... Okay, two water arrows deals with them. Oh, until they come back. Unless that was a third one. Is that it? Did we do it? I dare say we did. Oh, well that will make exploring the central area much easier, won't it? I think that was worth a few water arrows, don't you? Um, strange. We can highlight these things, but we can't actually do anything with them. I guess they're broken. But, uh... safer. Let's save. You see, I still remember the quick save button. That's a sure fire sign, or a, a sure sign that, uh, that I played recently. And let's run and leap. Easy peasy. A couple of moss arrows. Some broken swords. Interesting. of the Keeper Expedition around here. Oh, what's this? Oh, broadhead arrows. Okay, that was a quiver. Oh, a jeweled necklace. We have 645 loot total, and we need 2,000, so we need quite a bit more. But that's okay. useful against fireballs, I should think, but uh, do we want to see if we can get up on the rooftops here? Just take a look. We might. We might be able to. Hmm. No, probably not. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. That's okay. saved. Let's just say I completely forgot there was a lava pool on the other side of that wall. Oh, that was the wrong. I guess we can just quick load, can't we? Um, that was foolish. A pro thief player here, guys. Pro strats. I guess there's nothing down there because we can't get into this lava-filled building, so... There we go. It's a little better. Okay. Excellent. 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 You know, we should probably just uh, use our last healing potion, shouldn't we? I don't even think it'll take us to full health. Let's just do it. It'd be good to have a slightly larger health buffer. Okay, so here's a picture, or some kind of pictogram of wheat, maybe, sheaves of wheat. So yeah, we're in this area right here. I think uh, up there is where we just were. I would guess. 
that match, sort of, a little bit. It doesn't really indicate, but that's okay. There's not that many ways to go from here, honestly. This just connects up with where we were. We came from here already. This is where we started just a moment ago. This over here, I don't really remember, but I think we've been over here. Pretty certain. Ah, okay. Yeah, this just connects up with another. Nothing up there. Um, oh, maybe this isn't connected. Well, I'm sure it is, but I thought this was part of the same central area, but it appears it may not be. This is a, a papyrus leftover from ancient times of a young woman's experiences in what was at that time a great city, but no longer. No longer. Doesn't appear to be anything up here. just were, so we can go that way, which is south on the map, or we can go this way, which is also south on the map, just a slightly different south, or this, which, uh, this way, down to the sort of southeastern, southwestern, pardon me, corner of the city. this way. Sure. 
this way, which, again, judging by this pictogram, is down here. Oh, fireballs. Uh, oh, what's that? There's some, some colored things over there. I don't know what those are. Why don't we go this way first, though? I'm curious what's off in this direction. It has been so long since I played this level. I remember just the overall kind of theme and setting, but the details of these levels now are, um, are basically new to me because I, it's been so long since I played it. And these later levels I only played through once, really, so goodness, there's a lot of ways to go here. Um, unlike the earlier levels in the game, which I've played through, you know, many times. Yeah, we can't go through here, so it must be this way. Honestly, I don't know where we're going or what we're hoping to find over here, but I guess maybe we'll come down here and then we'll go all the way up there to the tower. That's possible. In which case, maybe we should have gone south the first. I wonder if the keeper uh, medallions are there. Maybe we can go back if we have to. These places aren't swarming with bricks, unlike those early areas. That was a real pain in the butt. Very dark in here. What is this? Very interesting. Okay, now we're in this region. I'm getting the feeling we may have to backtrack 
to see that uh, southern area. Oh, great, more of these lights. I do like the, uh, the moldings around the top of the ceiling here, crown moldings. quiet and empty in here. A little bit ominous. What is going on over here? A brazier. Oh, oh. Do you guys hear something? Voices. Let's deal with uh, this treasure first. I didn't think we would find anyone living down here. It sounds like mages. What is this? Oh, apparently we're just going to carry an entire carpet out of here. Just looks like it's been looted. It's smashed open and there's nothing inside. Do you think these funerary urns are treasures? They are. Very good. Very good. Okay, so we've got a creepy voice from this direction. We've also got this way that we can go. And that way, I guess. These are all tombs by the look of it. Let's follow the creepy voice. What could possibly go wrong? Probably quick save.
voice. There must be more mages around. I guess they're in this level. I honestly have no memory of that. But... It's a weird structure, isn't it? I guess mages are a thing here. It's weird that the chest is smashed, but they didn't take the urns, which clearly are also valuable. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, really? What could be down here? Very good. And a scroll. Let's read the scroll. From the Secretary of Protocol, Waiten, to Keeper of the Keys, Fugan. It is spoken that Vatoran has closed the Colosseum for reasons other than piety. In a year and a day of mourning, Doran may devise a way to make money from the building. As cheering crowds were to his father, is the clink of coins to Doran. To enter the key with a Vatarak is genius. None will touch it, yet, should it serve, it can be lost to grave robbers. Our new master is wily. This humble servant fears for Karath Din. Okay. So what is this telling us? Vatoran, I guess, was the emperor, maybe. And Doran was his son. And so they're burying the key with the father, maybe. The key to the Colosseum. Something like that. So, we're going to be looking for a key, maybe, if we have to get into or through a Colosseum. We'll be looking for a key in a burial chamber. down there. Okay. Alright. That's uh, something we're going to have to contend with. Um, oops. That was unintentional. Oh gosh, more mages. Uh, well, this guy looks like he's unaware, so we can at least pop him on the head. So why are the mages down here? I shall build shelters from the winds, use the countless waters, see the vast earth and burn eternal fires. Why are the mages down here? I wonder if we can get up there. I bet you we can. Totally looks like something we can do. Somehow. So we know there's mages downstairs. They haven't followed us, which is good. What's over this way? We're still down here. This is an epic looking pathway, but it's blocked. Nothing down here. Stairs past those mages. I'm thinking at this point it might be wise to 
this way. And then there's this down here as well. I honestly don't know. Oh, well, let's just keep going this way. I'll try and avoid backtracking. Oh. Patrolling mage. Gosh, that's really annoying. These lights. Super annoying. Crap. What vision disturbs me? <laughs> because again I can just murder them which is not normally a luxury we have let's uh, quick save here and uh, <laughs> he seems to have given up the search um, I'm loath to waste a water arrow we probably could put out that fire but let's just murder the guy let's just Garrett's not really a murderer, but given the situation, the darkness will not protect I'm sure he'll be forgiven. Mages, unite against this threat. worry me a little bit that we haven't found any keeper medallions yet. I don't know how many we're supposed to find, but we have found exactly zero.
Okay, so here we are now. A little quick save. Let's pull out the water arrows. I think we're going to need them here. Oh, we've not been over here. Well, maybe that's a better route than the full frontal approach here. Sure. Let's try making our way around the flank. Perhaps it will be a bit more subtle, surreptitious. Oh, or maybe we're entering a different area. Hard to say. This will take us back to Above now. Very interesting. And what's over here? It looks like a back door. This is a pretty epic looking chamber with angry faces. So angry. They look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Kind of. Okay. Oh, whoa. There's something over there for sure. scroll. To honor the life memory of our departed father and king, Vatarak, son of the sky, the Colosseum he built for his people will be closed for a year and a day. Let the gates be locked and none make merry while the sky and earth themselves do shake and cry for their departed brother. This I decree. From Vatoran, son of the sky. So, now we're looking for that key. Oh, there is that entryway and uh, fireball guy. Well, we've got the water arrows, we might as well just deal with it, right? This is that big chamber that we, uh, we were just up there earlier. Is there anything? Doesn't it kind of look like a, I don't know. It's a creepy face. It looks a bit like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, this was a stage. This was a theater. Look at these masks. the pretty penny too. I always like the unique loot in the Thief games. You know, the stuff that's not just generic. Fire arrows. 
Let's read it. A speech by Master Rutin, 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 of the Guild of Enlightenment. The priests tell the ignorant that the earth is crying for her departed brother, Vatarak. We know that these tremors signify something more ominous. Tarak would have listened to us and evacuated the city, but his son is less enlightened. Must protect what we can by whatever magical and mundane means we possess. The tower must not fall. Yes, the tower where we're heading to. So they're obviously referring to the tremors, the earthquake that ultimately ruined this city. Oh, are these all gems? You've got to be kidding. this area.
I saw something move over there. Oh, those look like skeletons of keepers, and there's a mage. Let's save. Perhaps we can snipe that mage from back here. What do you think? Oh gosh, that was close. What is that? Something in the wall over there. Let's see if we can... Oh, maybe we'll get a little closer first. There's no hiding here. We're just going to have to... It was nothing. Each of these guys takes what? Uh, five arrows. I just missed with one. I guess we will run out of broadhead arrows at some point. Oh, shoot. Come back. Rats. Uh, blast. we can recover our arrows. What have we here? Oh, that was not good. Oh, but we got so hurt. We might have to quick load. You cannot change my destiny, thief. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, not so good. Let's quick load. isn't it? Uh, we can try getting up close and personal with the sword, just run circles around them. What do you think? Not what have we here? Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to crouch there. Yeah, I think this is the way to do it. Protect me. Although, gosh, could you be any louder, buddy? But you know what? We're gonna save Scum without getting hit because we just don't have very much health to deal with being hit. Okay, let's try this again. So it, they stagger quite a bit, clearly, which is great. It makes this quite effective. Ear close. 
close to his lips. He said but one thing before expiring. Burning water. What the heck do you think that means? That's spooky. Also, I think there might be something for us over here. Yes, indeed. There we go. A gem. We've now surpassed 2,000 gems. So we've completed one of our objectives. And we were able to grab another gas arrow. Now let's see if we can sneak over here without falling into the lava. Very good. Now we know there's another mage over here. So let's save. Oh, two of them. Maybe we can sneak around without alerting these guys. I reckon we may be able to. Very good. Now this, this looks like an epic tomb, doesn't it? mage down here. It's a little cheaty. I probably shouldn't, shouldn't do this, but we're just working on very little health here. Oh wait, he didn't even see us.
lips. Gosh, they're so blind. I hope the torch doesn't do anything. Nothing over here. This door has obviously been forced open by the mages. But, uh, yeah, there's really no way to go here. Oh, unless... We might have to use a rope arrow. We have four of them. seems sketchy at best, but uh, let's try here. And then let's do another one. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Good. Good. jump. I'm trying not to waste rope arrows here. We've only caught four of them. This is a little bit unforgiving, isn't it? I guess we have to use all three, though. <sighs> I don't know if we can afford to waste that rope arrow. Do you think we can... Can we be greedy? No, we need to leave ourselves a way back anyway. I guess our rope arrow's really gone, isn't it? <sighs> what a bummer. Okay, well... No, we're gonna... <sighs> yeah, let's do this again. I'm being bad about this. I should really just be living with the consequences of my actions, but I just don't want to be without a rope arrow just in case we do need one further in. Okay. see how it is. Yikes. Big yikes. We're gonna have to deal with this mage. And as we know, the sword seems to be the best option. Oh, there's a few of them. another option here. Maybe we can just avoid them. That does not seem to be the case. I think we're going to have to confront them. Let's check over here, though. Another 
empty room. <clears throat> Maybe we can bop this guy on the head. Is this a vision? <laughs> Is this a vision? No. Nope. Just a me. What's all this? No, oh, this looks like some kind of. Oh, it's the lever. <laughs> it's the lever for the Coliseum. Okay, well, uh, that's what we came here for. But, um, I bet you there's more keepers down here somewhere. Look at that ceiling, huh? So many stars. Oh, rats. Oh, it's time to murder. The darkness will not protect oh, there's two of them. That's too bad. Your shall feed the earth. Is he gonna blow up his friend? Oh, this is not good. What is happening? that thing. Oh, this didn't work at all. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we should use more fire arrows. This is silly. I kind of figured that the fire arrows would just murder them outright. But... Wow, it would be great if I could even hit them. Saves come. What you can do about it? <laughs> we have 16 fire arrows actually. Honestly, I don't need to be so precious with them. Headshots. That thing definitely comes after me. This intruder will not stop us. Why am I so bad with the fire arrows? Your course. Let's chop this guy up. Or we can just knock him out. Because he's an idiot. I stand oh. Maybe he's not such an idiot. That was really unfair. The earth will protect me. Why is this guy have so much health? With others, <sighs> I shall return with others, rogue. This is getting dumb. Maybe we just, uh, call it good enough. Oh, but three health is so little. Okay, one more go. One more. We'll just fire arrow them. And then hopefully... Okay, well, I got one of them. We haven't actually.
actually been hit yet. What you doing, bud? I call oh. It's disappointing. There's also no body in there, strangely. sort of the main way into this tomb here, which is here, which makes me wonder what the heck's in here. Oh, another sarcophagus. Interesting. What do you suppose could be in there? Let's find out. Once again, a whole lot of nothing. This one has a a unique um, lid on it, though. I have to say, these sarcophagi full of nothing are quite disappointing. Okay, well, I guess that's all there is here. Oh, almost screwed that up. I guess the mage is like levitated over or something. traps we're talking about. It said that we would be accosted from above, which we were, from beneath, which could refer to this lava, and from that which is right in front of your eyes. I don't know what that was referring to. Strange. Anyway, we're going to leave these two oblivious mages to their discussion. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll just head back. We got the lever. We got a medallion. There must be more medallions closer to the tower. Let's uh, save here. So, uh, we've, uh, oh, time has just flown by here. flown by here, and we are over an hour into this episode, or thereabouts. So, I think we're going to have to call it here, but let's get back to where we were, at least let's use that lever.
would be nice to find that Keeper Medallion, wouldn't it? Oh, this is not actually the way we want to go. I just realized. I guess we could drop down there, but it might be dangerous. We want to go... Oh, it's the way we have to go, though. <laughs> I didn't realize we couldn't get back up there. gems there, I tell you. Can't help but feel they ought to have been worth more. Also, there was those windows in the back of this place where we looked out and we saw another building. That was quite compelling looking, but it didn't amount to anything. We couldn't get out there. I guess it was just window dressing. this way. That mage is still downstairs in the lava, I presume, but that's okay. Let's use that lever. There it is. This was the, uh, the place where the combatants would fight, like they were describing, you know. And this used to be surrounded by water. Okay, well, uh, we have a way forward, but we're going to have to save that for next time, uh, my friends. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me here today. As usual, I really, really appreciate it. Thief fans, and I hope that you, uh, I hope that you like having another episode within a relatively short timeline. Um, I'll see if I can do it again. I'll try and keep it from being a three plus month wait again. But uh, as usual, we'll just have to see. <laughs> it's partially dependent, as you probably know, upon my other videos that I have scheduled, things like reviews. Uh, you know, the relaxing reviews often have to take precedence. But um, anyway, thanks for continuing this journey with me. Uh, thank you for your, your never-ending patience. Thank you for keeping me on track, as you always do with your requests for a new episode. And again, a big thank you to Watermelon Girl, to Jenia, uh, for uh, put, putting me in a thiefy mood. Like I said, I know she's been playing through on her own time and uh, enjoying it, 